Eye injuries are not age specific. Uh, you know, the type of injury can be age specific based on the type of activities, you know, uh, people are involved in at various stages of life. You know, we always talk about wearing safety glasses or eye protection. If someone is going to do something uh, that uh, there's a potential risk for that, they remember to put on some form of protective wear, like construction work, or they're going to be hammering something. Um, but, you know, the most common injuries are when you least expect them. Uh, obviously, children uh, can sometimes uh, get injured if they're climbing trees or they're playing outside or, you know, a sharp object uh, uh, lands in their eye while they're playing uh, in, in the field uh, or sports injuries, uh, you know, with baseballs or soccer balls or an elbow to the eye. Uh, adults tend to have uh, more, uh, can have injuries related to work. Uh, and also, uh, again, you know, cleaning chemicals uh, and trying to maybe fix something at home. The most common symptoms of superficial injury of the eye could be uh, tearing, redness, uh, the eyes uh, watering, uh, pain. Um, but again, you know, sometimes uh, it's very difficult to determine the extent and severity of the injury without an eye exam. I've seen patients come in thinking that they just had a corneal abrasion or a, a scratch on the eye and they actually have a penetrating injury and they have to be taken to surgery immediately. Preventive care is kind of uh, the mantra of medicine. You know, I, obviously if we can prevent injuries or prevent illness or any types of diseases, that's a much better approach than having to repair people after the fact. So uh, sure, you know, part of the, the message that we give in our, our office as ophthalmologists is to always remind our patients about the uh, importance of eyewear and protection, uh, even uh, during mundane activities, because that's usually when injuries occur when you least expect them. Thank you.